Welcome back guys, what is going on? Tom here, super excited today because I'm gonna show you guys Alibaba. I'm gonna show you guys now that you found your profitable product. So if you haven't seen the previous video, that's just go back, it's the video before this one. I showed you guys how to find profitable products effectively and efficiently using Jungle Scout and Merchant Words. So today what we're gonna do is actually dig deeper, trying to find quality suppliers because that's very important to make sure the longevity of our business and also at best price as possible. So that's one part of it. The second part is we're actually gonna look at templates uh, that we can use to contact these suppliers and what information to ask for in order for you to make informed decisions when buying these products. That's it, let's get right into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, super excited about this video today because I'm going to show you guys how to contact suppliers, how to find quality suppliers, and how to get the best prices possible. So those are our main goals today, and we're going to get into it right away. Now, uh, before I do so, if you haven't checked the video before this one, which was my product research video, check it out because it goes into chronological order, and I want you guys not to miss any step. Now, on Wednesday, we found a product that we were interested in, which was the baby doll. And today we're going to look deeper into that and find suppliers for that product. So uh, what I've done here is I've loaded Jungle Scout because I didn't want to waste time. So I basically searched baby doll on Amazon, right? And then uh, I ran Jungle Scout extension right here against it. And then I loaded up the data to see what is available. Now, as I mentioned before, you get revenues, reviews, prices, and all kinds of competitive data for you guys. So one of the dolls that I was interested in was this, what is it, Rulimate Lifelike Realistic Baby Doll. Now it's priced at $29.99 and it is doing at 14 reviews, it's doing almost $9,000. That's why I was really interested into this one. So let's take a look at this. For a second I'm just gonna click on it so that we can go into that main page uh, of the seller and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna copy the first part of the title and then I'm gonna go to Alibaba so the tool that I'm going to show you guys is Alibaba for supplier research. It's a manufacturer's website where uh, you can connect with potential suppliers for your product and you can actually target it based on where you want to bring the product from. So that's why it's so powerful. Now, when we go to Alibaba, we're just going to do a quick search of the exact product we were looking for, right? So I basically copy pasted that from Amazon. All right, so let's see what kind of suppliers we have available. So you guys will see that this is the doll that I was looking at. So one thing you got to make sure is I'm going to show you guys this tag that it is absolutely important. You want to make sure that you check trade assurance uh, so that the suppliers are trusted. Uh, basically, it pro protects you uh, in your orders from payment to delivery. So that's very important. You want to make sure these are trusted suppliers who are not going to just take your money and run. So that one I'm going to click. All right. All right. So, okay, so once we see the doll that we like, this is basic exact doll that we were looking at. So don't worry about this price, guys, because what's going to happen is when you do a huge order, the price is going to change drastically. That's how these things work with manufacturing. So, of course, with two, they're going to charge you a lot more. So, what we're going to do is we're going to con click on contact supplier. Now, one thing to keep in mind about suppliers is that if the same supplier has two or three different products, make sure to contact them once because if you contact three times for the same sub to the same supplier for the same product, it's just not gonna look professional and it'll look desperate. And then they kind of gives them the uh, buying power, so to speak. So I've actually developed a template for you guys uh, so you can use it when contacting the suppliers because it has some really important information. Not only you need to get, but also it makes you look professional. It makes you look like a legit business. So I'm just gonna paste it here. I've copied it and we're gonna go through it together. All right. So the beginning part is basically dear contact name and manufacturer. So you're going to take 
the name of the uh, manufacturer you're gonna paste it right in here so dear Z Young Hu Shen Zen Rolimate Technology CO Ltd all right so that's what we're gonna put here my name is you're gonna put your full name Tam Scherer and I'm the owner of the company Toys Gone Wild or whatever what have you um, whatever your company name is right and then you're gonna say it's a company that specializes in products for in so this is where you're gonna put your industry so it's gonna be like children's toys uh, or the area of interest so children's toys or toys in general and you're gonna say that we're currently looking to expand our product line and are interested in one of the items that you manufacture and you're gonna insert basically the name and link of the doll so you can send them this link specifically or you can actually go back to your Amazon and copy the link for this product specifically from here and you're gonna paste it there alright so make sure because you want to make sure there is no uh, there is no uh, room for error so that they don't send you the wrong product now and um, from there you're gonna say that um, could you please provide me with the following information uh, additional information so that we can determine if this is a good fit for our product line all right so it's a very professional letter uh, you guys can add to it or subtract some of the stuff up to you guys but I, I recommend that the minimum you guys get this information so the information you want to ask and why are you able to provide custom packaging why is that important it's because it's really important for your branding if you're trying to create a name on Amazon and you're branding your own products you want to have you want to make sure you have the customizability to put labels on your boxes to have a certain color uh, whatever you want right something that is branded specifically to your business very important you don't want standard packaging because it could be just a brown box with like nothing on it just a shipping label or what have you it just does not look professional when it comes from somebody who has a branded box it just looks more professional it builds credibility among your buyers and thus you'll get better reviews so the second question is what is the standard production time for each order very important because based on the quantity you want to know the standard production times if a supplier is selling you for a cheaper price but actually takes twice as long is it really worth it is it really worth going through the headache of hassling the supplier okay did you finish the product and cutting really close to deadlines especially if it's a seasonal product you need to get it in before a certain time frame in order to sell it right so you got to be very careful with those things you got to be aware of what's happening with your business and your product so I would always suggest sometimes the in the beginning price is not always everything you gotta make sure that you get a proper product and mind you guys you always have to ask them if they can provide you a sample now no sometimes they'll make you buy it but if you actually convince them that you are a legit buyer they'll actually send you the sample for free so you always want to make sure you see a sample because what if the product they send you don't even see it right what if there is a flaw in it and then you'll get a negative review so you always want to make sure you avoid those things quality check is very important now there are also third party uh, companies that actually go in and uh, inspect uh, these kind of products they, they go to the manufacturers facility they see the product they unbox it they uh, basically uh, play with it to see what's going on if the product is legit if the product is durable and all those kind of things so that costs a little bit of money but in the beginning it's hard to accommodate such a thing if you have a limited budget for uh, your Amazon FBA business so therefore always make sure now that's why we actually uh, want to go with suppliers who are well known in the industry and are not just like any mom and pop shop all right so the third question is what is the price per unit including packaging at the following MOQs MOQ stands for minimum order quantity so it's important because price will drastically change so if uh, for two they were selling it at 30 to 40 US dollars right if you ask them 400 to 500 don't be surprised if the prop price drops by like um, three-fourths and what it, then it'll just be like ten dollars per unit and the higher you go the smaller the price gets that's just the way the, the, the nature of this business works right because production line and the way they uh, the larger quantity they have 
um, they make money on volume rather than uh, unit right and all everything that goes along with the production of that product so they don't have to do it twice so therefore the prices are lower so you want to make sure you get a price for each one of these categories so 100 to 500 501 to 1000 pieces 1001 to 5000 pieces and 5001 and higher reason is because you can always if they ever change the pricing on you you can always say hey this was the prices you gave me um uh, let's try to work with what we have and not the higher prices you're giving me now so always make sure you have a paper trail of that and that's why we're asking these prices and also the other neat thing you can do is if you have a good negotiation power with them and if you build a proper relationship you can actually ask for a thousand to five thousand tier pricing for a five hundred to thousand pieces um, order so you can say you know what we're really uh, serious about this we want you guys to be our long-term supplier so what can you guys do in goodwill too so that we can build that relationship and chances are that they if they really want to build that relationship with you and they believe in it they're actually going to give you a much better pricing so that's why we want to have those prices as well so we have visibility on what we can negotiate and ask for all right so moving on as also for estimating your shipping cost you also want to ask them the following questions right how many items usually comes in a case right because you're trying to figure out how much you can fit at a certain cubic meter and what are the dimensions of each case in cubic meters make sure you get cubic meter dimensions and kilograms because that's the international values that are used for shipping so the reason this is important is because they may give you a shipping cost that is way higher than what you could get uh, what you could normally get outside so I always want to like, encourage you guys to basically get a few quotes outside of your supplier but also with your supplier and compare the cost to see if the headache is worth the cost that you're paying for it so maybe it is a little bit more work to do it externally than to do it internally with the supplier but then the cost with the supplier is slightly higher so you got to see which one works for you and I would suggest to get at least three codes you want to compare especially when you're starting out and you haven't built a relationship with anybody you want to compare and you want to make sure you make the best business decision possible so the other absolute most important thing is is that a lot of people message these suppliers uh, on Alibaba you want to take the conversation out of Alibaba and you want to contact them on sources like uh, Skype or WhatsApp because that builds a more personal relationship. You can even FaceTime with them so you can see each other, right? And um, you want to take the conversation out because Alibaba, first of all, um, it they at the end of their day when they're done with, with their job, they kind of s skip through Alibaba to see what new orders could potentially or clients uh, or leads um are basically sitting in their inbox and chances are there are hundreds and hundreds of emails so you don't want to be waiting uh, for them to get to your email after a few weeks right because time is of the essence so very important get them out of alibaba and encourage them to contact you and that's why you can actually directly say i will not answer via alibaba so please copy and paste your answers to our questions and send your response to skype give them your skype id or if you want it through whatsapp do that so as well and then you just thank them for their time and basically give them the impression that we're going to move with this order forward um thanks again and just very professional letter put your name title and also company and if you have a letterhead actually um, you can do attachments and send this off so very important guys uh, make sure that uh, you use this kind of template and you don't just like <laughs> email them in a very informal way because that's not how businesses work and they're gonna pick up on that and they're not gonna take you seriously so that's it guys and then um, one of the other things I want to suggest to you guys is contact at least five suppliers because like I said all of them are so busy that not all of them may get back to you right very important so uh, the other thing is Alibaba also recommends matching suppliers so if you don't know um, where else to find others so within 24 hours if you don't hear a response 
the Alibaba is going to recommend you matching suppliers, which is a great tool to use so you don't waste time. And guys, if the guys are, if the manufacturers are serious about your business, they'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Anything longer than that, I don't know if I want to do business because I, they're not serious about what I'm asking. So therefore, contact as many as possible, but make sure you don't duplicate your requests to the same supplier. Very important, guys. All right, so I hope you guys learned something valuable today. Um, so from here onwards, what I want to show you guys is, can you actually make money on Amazon? So now that we have found our products, we have sourced our products, how can we actually make money on Amazon? So I'm going to show you guys the nuts and bolts of that in the next video, which is going to come out on Monday. So subscribe to that. That's going to come out at 1230 p.m. sharp, just like always. And um, I'm excited to go through that process with you guys. So have a wonderful weekend and I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.